in class 12th. This is my pep up class for your board practicals and I would be guiding you through the viva part and the components of your practical this year. So we are talking about class 12th board practicals for chemistry. The portions that you need to do are beginning with titration. This titration will be for 8 marks. Salt analysis of an unknown salt would also be for 8 marks. The core practical, there are options. It could be chromatography, it could be food test, it could be functional group identification, it could also be a double salt preparation, it could be lyophilic and lyophobic salt preparation that depends on what you have done in your school. So accordingly, one of the core practicals would be given to you. The weightage is 6 marks. The project file that you make for your investigative project stands for 4 marks, inclusive of the viva. Your viva from the practicals and the practical file is also for 4 marks. So which means this is your externals portion where she would be taking or he would be taking your viva and judging you on those 8 marks. Which also means ki beta tumhari haath mein 22 marks. And please say to it that 22 to hard se na jai. Now for this 22, please be sure that your work should be neat. There should be results written in all the three practicals. Now whether you have to write the equations or not will depend on your teacher. If she says don't write the equation, then please don't write so. But if you are writing the equations, please see that they are correct. They may not be balanced. But the product that you have to identify must be written in that particular equation. What I'm trying to say is, uh, I, I'll come to them one by one. The third part is your core practical, as I said, project and viva. Viva would be by the external generator. Now, so please be neat and the result, and please follow the order of practicals. Means you first do titration, then salt analysis, and then the core practical. Now. We will be talking about titration first. I'll give you a quick recap of titrations. You can watch my video on the concept of redox titration, which is in your course, and then the viva portion can be handled. Now, since the titration is a redox titration, please, the balancing of that equation of the redox reaction in your titration should be on your tips. You should be able to identify the oxidizing agent, the reducing agent, and so on. Also, when you prepare the solution preparation, now for the solution preparation, you need to know molarity and how to calculate the formula that you need to use. So, when you prepare the solution in your measuring flask or the titration flask, then in that case, please be cautious to not exceed this mark when you fill it with water. So, the final addition, you fill it up to this level, it's okay. But the final addition, please do it with a dropper so that it does not overshoot the mark. Otherwise, puri ki puri mehnat bekar ho jayegi bita and you will have to redo it up. So no point. Be cautious, add slowly the last set of water and then transfer it into a beaker, only then use it. Because the solution is not homogeneous. You can watch my video on solution preparation to get the clear idea of what I am trying to say. Moving on to the salt analysis. Now when we talk about the salt analysis, now this is the area where the students generally get tensed. And the reason is you have anions and cations and you need to follow an order. Matlab, when you are on anions, first step is with dilute sulfuric acid, observe gas, then you have concentrated sulfuric acid, observe the gas and then you have sulfate or phosphate which can be there in your salt. Now, important is in case you have a sulfate or phosphate, then in your cations, your lead, barium, strontium, and calcium would be absent. If your anion is sulfate or phosphate. Also, 
which means if sulfate and phosphate are not there, then I would advise in the cations you start with the zero group, which is your ammonium testing, followed by flame test, so that you can quickly identify the group five. But please do the flame test only if your salt does not have sulfate or phosphate. Agar salt me sulfate or phosphate hai, to let group one and group five will be absent. You should know that. Is that fine? Now, also for the viva of the salt analysis, my advice is that you should know the theory of your common ion effect. You can check my channel for this particular video. It's already there. Solubility product that is your KSP. The KSP word is a taxing number. Taxing is not taxing. KSP is not solubility. If KSP is not taxing, it is solubility. If KSP is not taxing, it is not solubility. For ammonium ion, we check gas. Why? Because it is not precipitated. Why? Because all salts are highly soluble. What is the chemistry? Mein kya bolte hai? All ammonium salts have a very high solubility product. Ka matlab they are highly soluble, to precipitate to bane gai Which means, pura ka pura cation analysis, jis mein your agenda is to check the precipitate, is based on solubility products. Common ion effect is for your group 3 and your group 2. So, you have to do that and the video is already there. Moving beyond this, you have your core practice. Now, when you come to core practical, if you are given chromatography, my advice is please start off with chromatography. So that by the time you are doing the other work, your chromatography run through of the mobile phase is done. If you are given crystallization, then also you should begin with crystallization. So that by the time you end your practical, the crystals are there for you to weigh. But if it is the functional group testing or it is the food testing, both the videos for the functional group as well as the food test are already there on my channel. Please watch them and do very well in your practicals. Coming to the project file, I hope you have done your investigatory project in your schools. Also, the, if there is any link of your investigatory project to your theory, that is your chapter, please do that chapter thoroughly. The examiners do take your viva from the practicals as well as from the theory. Because your core practical has functional groups. And these functional groups is nothing but your organic. So if you know the organic only then will you be able to give the confirmatory tests or the chemical tests for the functional groups. Similarly, lyophilic and lyophobic soil is from surface chemistry. Chromatography is from surface chemistry. For chromatography also there is a video on the channel. You can have a look at it. Beyond this, coming to the last part of the Bible, please don't get worked up. The examiner is not a devil. She is there to help you out to score. So please listen to the question carefully. Is she asking why, what, when? Answer accordingly. If there is a question which you do not know, there is no harm in saying so. Because you have an examiner and it is not probable that you can answer all the questions. A one or two questions unanswered is okay. Don't panic. Please be very neat in your work presentation. Because the work presentation helps the examiner to give you marks. Also, please wish the examiner when you go for the viva. Your answer sheet should be neat. If there is a cutting, supposing you have written this and you want to cut it, please don't do it like this. The better way of cutting it out is a single slash. This looks neat and your work presentation remains good. So cutting also is an art. Try not to do it, but if you have to, then be neat about it. In your titration, you also need to mention the units. Molarity has to M, strength has to grams per liter, and for percentage, you will just put the sign of percentage. Do not forget the units. Results for the three practicals are essential. Neatness is important and follow the order from titration to salt analysis to your core practical and rest is the fine. Is that fine? I hope I have helped you out with your 
practicals this year do well in life please stay connected keep watching the videos on my channel and spread the word thanks a ton bless you loads